There's a lot of things going on in Cardano right now, and in today's video, I want to cover the latest and greatest of them. Shout out to Cardano Whale for the awesome threads on Twitter. This will be linked down in the description if you want to check out more of anything I'm talking about in today's video. First things first, though, the hard fork for Vassal has a date now, September 22nd, and this is going to bring a lot more network capacity and all types of good things to Cardano, being it the largest upgrade to date. A non-Haskell based language, so more inclusivity for developers. Helios has came out and said they're ready for Vassal. This is just good news in general. The Jira wallet team has been hard at work. You can see for yourself, they have a lot of things they've been working on lately. iOS, Android apps, beta testing, preparing for the Vassal upgrade, added functionality for the Jira wallet Chrome extension, and NFT staking. So pretty good progress over there as well. Armrush has done a thread recently on the Ape Society NFT project. If you want to check it out, I will leave this link down in the description so you can check out all of what's going on over there. Ada Will's interested, so it's probably pretty cool. Next up, we have Ada Finance with a very, very exciting news completing their audits and launching on September 13th. This will add borrowing and lending, a new source of yield, and the ability to short tokens on Cardano. This is going to bring a lot of significant improvements to market depth and liquidity, and a lot more you know, capital efficiency, so to speak. There even is a published press release on Cointelegraph, so that's nice to see. Um, but really, Lending and borrowing kind of came out of nowhere over here. I know they've been in a test net for a while, but just to see them ready to launch even before the Vassal upgrade is awesome. You may know that IOG, one of the three founding partners of Cardano, has been building a dApp store, but dApps on Cardano has beat them to the punch where you can go and see all types of dApps and also the scripts being used, how much and how frequently, and a lot more. This is a great place to go to see different dApps on Cardano and to see what Cardano has to offer that is live right now. This is probably where I would send Ethereum people or people outside of Cardano who want to take a look at what is currently built on Cardano and not just the things that are in production and don't have any public access yet. In other words, the Mithril proof of concept has become open sourced. This is going to be useful in a lot of different ways but the main one will be to quickly and efficiently bootstrap a full node and with the lace wallet built by og in a light client fashion another lending and borrowing platform probably one of my most promising looking dApps to me uh, liquid finance has been showcasing some of their dashboards in light and dark mode and in general the dApps on testnet right now and things are looking good if you don't know it already liquid finance is one of those dApps that i've been paying attention to for over a year now and they've been building something of insane quality and especially so utilizing the parts of Vasil that are coming to us on September 22nd. Aneta BTC sponsored a Cardano hackathon in Argentina. Pretty cool stuff. Another exciting bit of news, the official Aneta BTC staking portal on Cardano will be released in a few days. If you don't know what Aneta BTC is, it's wrapped Bitcoin on Cardano and Ergo. IOHK has also announced the new test version 5.0 of Cardano's full node Daedalus wallet. This is mainly for developers, but still cool to see nonetheless, as Daedalus is usually left behind, at least not as much as your worry though. Uh, Ada Handle adds wallet authentication for minting new handles, pretty convenient. And they also wrote a thread about handle per personalization, which is coming soon. Auth authentication, no more emails, just wallets now coming into the more Web3 side of things. Five binaries has added Milk of Meta support to Cardano game assets for Unity SDK. This is a massive step and a great step forward for games coming to Cardano. JPEG Store has added a new feature, trading history. A lot of people have probably been waiting for this for a long time, but now you can see all the history on an asset and the price it's been traded for live on JPEG Store. If you're interested in the Ardana SPO, rewards have been bumped from 2.5 million Dana tokens to 4 million total, and you don't have to do anything to increase the amount of Dana tokens you are going to receive. A few days ago, there was a dev update for Cardano, and one of the most interesting parts of it, according to Whale, was Hydro Transaction Fee Benchmarks. This has been published now, and basically the cost of an initial transaction with two parties is half an ADA, and with 45 parties, only 1.85 ADA. Other transactions are roughly in the same ballpark. 
Intercode Protocol had an interesting tweet, both highlighting that their iUSD stablecoin will be available at launch and that launch is slated for this November. Very exciting times ahead. And if you want to check out more on iUSD, I've made a video separate all about it. I'll leave that link down in the description below. Book Token has been taking the NFT side of things on Cardano to a new level and maybe even NFTs in general to a new, ne new level with books as NFTs. And there is a massive thread about this if you want to read into it. But essentially, things are looking pretty good with BookToken.io and I'm liking what I'm seeing. And I say that not just from an investing point of view, as I don't really have much invested into book token at all. I just have a very few amount of books, I think like one or two. And in general, I'm just liking that there's real utilities and real reasons to put NFTs as books and they're doing it properly here on Cardano. In other news, Trading Tent updated to version 3.0, adding things like project verification, royalties for trades that have multiple policy IDs, and a brand new dashboard. Cardano community has been nice polling all types of people, including StrikeX Wallet, after asking which wallets they should add to their platform, and Cardano now being integrated soon. Typhoon Wallet has added support for ADA handles, and honestly, I was trying to do this about three days ago with my Typhoon Wallet, and it didn't work, so glad to see that's a thing now. Keep in mind that decentralization is one of Cardano's strongest feats and me, Will, and pretty much a lot of people in the Cardano community do very much believe this. To help with decentralization, you can stake with small, single pools and help decentralize and secure the network. Some options are Sagan Pool, Yoeda, Envy, or yours truly, the Jack Stake Pool. And that is it for plugs today. And also in the news, we have Pixels NFT, one of my favorite NFT projects out there doing an LP drive for their ding. Right now they have about 750k ADA total value locked for this LP drive. And there's a bunch of cool rewards if you do choose to participate, like custom NFTs and things for the game, in-game assets and a bunch of cool things coming. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Musi Swap, a hybrid dex on Cardano, has showcased their recent redesign integrated NuFi wallets and are gearing up to launch their yield farming. Lastly, Cardano's fluid tokens, bridging the gap between NFTs and DeFi has went up quite nicely in TVL, about 15%, and they're quietly growing. That's it for today's news. Make sure to check out the Twitter thread in the description. Thank you Cardano Whale so much for putting it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.